العاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبد الله Why not? خذ لا good Okay, so we have been talking about What have we been talking about in this class? Aqeedah What have we mentioned so far? We talked about the meaning of the importance of we talked about different names for Aqeedah and now and then last time we talked about the sources of Aqeedah and how many sources of Aqeedah what's so special about the source of our Aqeedah okay what else what's so special about the sources of our Aqeedah okay very good. That's, the, that's what I was looking for. That our, the place of where Aqidah comes from has been what? Preserved. Preserved. And where does it come from? What are the sources? We have a main and second there. What is the main source? Quran, Sunnah. And then the secondary? The sound intellect and the pure what? And then we said we're going to take each source one by. So what's our source today we're going to take? Quran. 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 So. Quran. So first thing what we need to know is the meaning of Quran, right? What's the first thing we should know? The meaning of who can tell me what Quran means here? Okay, speech of Allah. Okay, what else? Who can tell me what does Quran mean? Munir? Ibrahim? Ayub? Yeah, linguistic meaning. Very good. Very good. What is it linguistically? Ahsan. Very good. He went back to his notes because I think we talked about this when we did the tafsir of Surah Fatiha, right? A long time ago when we talked about Surah Fatiha, first thing we talked about was the meaning of Quran linguistically. So linguistically, okay, Quran means many different things. Linguistically, what does it mean? What does it linguistically mean, Quran? Many different what? No, that's not the meaning. I'm just saying it has many different linguistic what? Meaning. It has many different uh, linguistic what? Meaning. But the two main one. The two main linguistic meanings what we're going to take today. What are we going to take today? Two main. The two most famous and the most linguistic meaning we're going to take what? Today, okay? The first one here. Linguistic new Quran means to what? To read uh, or recite. Or like to recite. So here Quran means what? That which is recited and that which is what? Read. What does Quran linguistically mean? To read or something that is recited and something that is that is red. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wa Quranan faraqnahu. What does Allah say? Allah says, and this Quran, your Quran, it's a Quran which we divided into parts. What did we do? Meaning that what? The recite did the whole Quran come in one recitation? We recited to you, O Prophet, in what? In parts. Meaning a recitation. That we give to you in what? 
in part, in part, in part. So we used to come and recite some portion of the Quran, then come again and recite some more portion of the what? Of the Quran. We're going to take all questions at the end, okay? Another thing. Now we're, now we're looking at the, the linguistic meaning and the evidence that it means read or recited. Another one is where Allah, another verse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna alayna, who knows this ayah? Who can tell me this ayah? Inna alayna? Jam'ahu? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, Inna alayna, jam'ahu, wa Quran. Allah says, Using the word Quran, Allah says it is for us to collect it. Jam'ahu, we're gonna collect this Quran. Wa Quran, and then we're gonna recite it to you. Yes? Huh? What's the meaning? Oh, very good. What is the meaning? Combine things together. The second one, right? So we didn't come. We didn't come to the second, but yes. So we're still at the first one, which means to read and to what? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna alayna jam'ahu. Allah is telling the Prophet, we are going to what? Collect it. Wa Quran. And we're going to also what? Recite it. What does this Quran here mean? We're going to recite the Quran to you, O Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَإِذَا قَرَأْنَاهُ فَاتَّبِعْ Quran. So when we recite it, فَإِذَا قَرَأْنَاهُ فَاتَّبِعْ قُرْآنَ Follow the Qur'an, meaning follow the recitation of the what? Of the Qur'an. Again, Qur'an linguistically means what? Read and recite. To read or to what? Recite, okay? And the proof for this is what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِنَّ عَلَيْنَا جَمْعَهُ وَقُرْآنَ What does it mean here? Allah is telling the Prophet, O oh Prophet, it is upon us, we're going to collect the Qur'an and then we're going to also what? The Qur'an, we're going to recite it to you. فَإِذَا قَرَأْنَاهُ فَاتَّبِعْ Qur'an So when we recite it, follow the recitation. فَاتَّبِعْ Qur'an And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَقُرْآنَ فَرَقْنَاهُ لِتَقْرَأَهُ عَلَى النَّاسِ And وَقُرْآن is a recitation. The Qur'an is a recitation. وَقُرْآنَ فَرَقْنَاهُ We gave it to you in what? In part. So you can recite it to, to the people. So that is the first linguistic meaning of the Qur'an. And we said there's two main. What did we say guys? There's two main. So what is the first one? To read and recite. And okay, who can explain this part to me? Did it. Can you explain this ayah for me? How this means to read or to recite? Inna alayna jam'ahu wa qur'ana How is this ayah showing us that Qur'an means to read or to recite? Huh? Munir, how does this ayah show us that Qur'an means to read or to recite? Because like, that's, it says it on the meaning. Like, how? Tell us the meaning. It says like, uh, we'll collect the Quran and recite it. And we, so Quran here means what? Recite. Now, now the second time, this is the first one. Now, number what? Number two. Number two, Quran linguistically means what? To join. What does it mean? To join. To collect. To put something what? Together. To join. To uh, uh, have to, uh, to have partners to put together. <coughs> you know, we talked. Remember when we talked about Hajj? Yeah. How many How many Hajj are there? Types of Hajj? No, there's three types of what? Hajj. Okay. One of those Hajj is called Hajj Quran. What is it called? Hajj Quran. Quran and Quran. Don't they sound alike? Hajj Quran and Quran because they have the almost the same what? Root word. Hajj Quran means that you do Umrah and Hajj with the same what? With the same? No, with the same Ihram. Okay? So what did you do with your Ihram? You combined Hajj and Umrah, right? 
So once you wear the two white piece, you combine Umrah and Hajj. And that's what it's called Quran. Quran is also called Quran because it what? It joins. What does it do? It joins and it also, it also combines. Okay? So what does it combine? Okay? Very good. It combines what? So, so it combines it combines surah what else verses right so here see another quran means what to join what does quran mean to put together to join stuff together and what are we joining the surahs the ayat are, are, are coming together to 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 uh, to to make a what? When the ayat are together, one ayat after another ayat, and it ends. You have a what? Surah. When surahs are together, together you have a what? A juz, right? When you have all these juz together, you have the whole Quran, just like that, okay? So Quran means to combine surahs, sur verses, juz and so on and so forth, okay? So, so this is again the linguistic meaning of Quran. Linguistically means to do what? The first linguistic meaning is to do what? To read uh, or to? Allah says, Allah says, Inna alayna jama'ahu what Quran? Also, we said Quran means to combine. And what does it mean to combine? What does the Quran combine? Surahs, surahs. surahs verses, and what? Surahs. Just like what Hajj are, is called that has a similar name? Hajj. Quran. Hajj Quran means what to do? What you combine? You combine Umrah and and Hajj and Hajj together. Once we finish the linguistic meaning, what do we go to? The, the, the technical? The technical meaning. And that technical meaning, we will talk about it what? Tomorrow, because it's almost 11 o'clock and we have to do our what? Our, our Quran. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashadu alayhi wa sallam. Wa natubu